Hey everyone, welcome to Ubuntu Lost Videos. In this video I'll be showing you how to do a few customizations that include graphics, uh, such as a desktop cube, uh, drawing fire on the screen, and a few other little graphics here and there. So let's go ahead and begin by first installing, going to Applications, Ubuntu Software, and we're going to install a few tools to kind of mess with the settings. So look for Compiz, C-O-M-P-I-Z, then look for the Advanced Desktop Effect setting, CCSM, and install that just by clicking on this area here. For me it says remove because I already have it installed. And then simple compass config settings manager. And again click on that to install it. Again mine says remove because I have it installed. Now once that's installed we'll go ahead and start customizing. Now there's two ways to do it. One is a more complex and a lot detailed manner. The other is a quick and simple. So I'll show you the first way. First go into system preferences and go into compass conf or config settings manager and a window will pop up with a bunch of settings that we can mess with. For instance, uh, we can go to general options and we can do different desktop size. <coughs> Let's go ahead and do four. Uh, and then we can go back. And if you have underneath, we have a few things we can do. For instance, uh, the mouse, show mouse. We can click here to find what, what, how do we initiate it. The super key is the Windows key. So press super and then press K. And now we have this little magical thing going on. It's basically used to find your mouse or to keep track of it, but it can also be a little bit of a, I don't know, like a eye candy sort of thing. You can change the speed, you can do the radius a different size, you can do how many of them you want there to be, and so on. A few little customizations here and there. Of course, if you uncheck the button, then it basically disables it. Other stuff we have a magnifier, opacify, zoom desktop, and so on. Underneath this we have desktop. This pertains to your desktop. For instance, I have desktop cube enabled. This makes me do when I will when I middle click when I click the uh, mouse wheel, uh, not the mo yeah the mouse wheel. When I click the mouse wheel, you'll see that now I'll be able to kind of uh, move the desktop like so. But that is bad because I don't want it to be deformed like this. And we just have to find the cube refraction deformation. And now we're going to have a cube. And there it is. We have a cube. Of course, we can also do a few things. Uh, let's see. We can have reflection. Where's the reflection? Not here. Notice that when you enable this, you want to enable the rotate cube so you can rotate the cube. Otherwise, um, it won't really rotate it. You just have the cube, but you won't be able to use it. Uh, I think it might be in here, though. Enabled, reflections enabled, okay, deformation, just turn off the deformation, none, okay, cool. Now enable that again, uh, resolve conflicts, okay, set up next, uh, disable, blah, blah, blah. And now, because it's a uh, reflection, you can see at the very tip, we're kind of rotating over a certain axis. So that's how that works. And of course, you can uh, make this go back to the regular desktop wall as well just by clicking here and resolving the conflicts that happen and now we simply have to move left and right to go to different workspaces next we have animations different effects uh, for instance this is 3d windows for your cube uh, animations like these are an extra ones extra animations these are for your windows what do you want them to do when they close when they open when they minimize and so on give you a few ideas. This is of course the harder way to do this, so I'm not going to mess with it too much, but you basically, on an open animation, these are the windows that is being affected. You double click and you can change what kind of animation you want. Now there's a lot easier way to do this, and I'll show you. But for now, let's go ahead and just exit here and I'll go ahead and give you a more of a thorough examination. You can have login logout effects. You can paint screen on the fire. When you have this enabled, you can hold shift and the windows key and then just click somewhere to draw. It might lag a little bit for me, but there it is. You can draw stuff. It's pretty cool. Kind of gives you a little bit of a, um, I don't know, fun little activity to do and to show off to your friends. Then you press shift. Windows key C to clear it, and there you go. We have a water effect, which is basically ripples that look like water. Uh, we have extras, annotations on the screen, basically drawing on the screen. Uh, you have window previews, so if you have windows open, you can have a little preview like so. And the screenshots, benchmarks, uh, when you enable the benchmark Windows key F12, it gives you a bit of a frames per second 
and you can kind of, you know, I don't know if you're playing a game or if you're doing some sort of animation or something, you kind of keep track of that. But I really don't need that. Oops, what is it? Come on. Get off. Okay, there you go. Uh, underneath we have image loading. Basically, in uh, Nautilus or anything else, it loads these types of images. JPEG, PNG, SVG, text, and so on. Uh, they're all de enabled by default. Utilities, you can have a crash handler, uh, just in case you have a lot of crashes and you can debug. You have workarounds, these are just kind of uh, ways to improve um, the actual compass configuration. So you don't really have to mess in here much. This is probably, let me see. To tell you, I'm not really sure what the video playback does. But wallpaper is also, but they're already drawn. You can probably, uh, with some tweaks here and there, set up a wallpaper for each different desktop. But that's a different story. Window management, uh, we, we know the uh, default alt tab to change windows, as you can see. You can actually change this to a different, and of course, don't mess with the. I mean, you can mess with them, you have to resolve conflicts and so on. This is the harder way to do it, but the cool thing about it is you can actually configure them in a certain way. So when you click on uh, the application switcher that I use, a static application switcher in here, you can change the keys, you can change the behavior, and you can change the appearance. But with the other utility that I'll show you right now, you can't really customize the actual settings of it, but you can enable it and do a few things too. So now that we installed a simple one, go to right click and then change desktop background. In here go to visual effects, you don't have to, but go ahead and check custom and then press on preferences. In here it will give us a little menu, kind of show us of what we can do. Animations, here are the window animations, and here we have the selection we can choose from. Uh, simply put, just pick what you want. I'll give you a few examples. For instance, uh, if I close the window, I like it to burn. Um, not anything sadistic, but it's kind of fun watching a window burn. So when I open it, it's cool, and then when I close it, it burns, and so on. Now, if you do use this, if you do the burn thing through the bigger menu, through the Compass Setting Manager, uh, you can actually change the duration of the burn, so it takes longer, and you can actually see that animation a lot better. You can do different color burns and so on. That's the whole point. But this here, the simple, is just basically here to kind of give you a simple access to all the stuff. We have effects, static application switcher again, and other stuff as well. We have the flip, the windows flip. We have the max switch cover, and so on. Just a few things you can kind of play around with. For desktop, of course, we have the desktop wall or the cube. You can change how many desktop columns you want. And then the effects, you can actually deform the cube here to a circle or a cylinder. And the enable 3D windows. Accessibility, a few things here and there. And the edges is what I find the most awesomest part. Now, let's say we go ahead and left, we click down here in the corner. These are hot spots. These little things are hot spots. The green parts are activated, the red parts are deactivated. So clicking on the red, and picking something. For me, I like the show desktop. Oh no, hold on, not, the, not that one. I like the window picker. So, window picker for all windows. Now, if I move my mouse to the bottom left of the screen, now you see that all my windows will kind of arrange themselves. And I'll show you in a little, in a more thorough uh, way. So, let's say you have a lot of windows open and you want to pinpoint the one window you want to use. Simply go on the bottom left, and now they're arranged in a nice and orderly fashion. On the bottom right, I like to put the expo. Expo Edge. Simply put, go to the bottom right, and it'll show you all your desktops in a ni nice and neat fashion. So you can kind of drag and drop and rearrange all your desktops and so on. So yeah, that's basically it. That's the simple and the harder way to do it. And there's a lot more customizations in the harder way, but it's a lot harder to understand uh, in comparison to the easy way. So thank you for watching Ubuntu Lost Videos. I hope this was pretty interesting and uh, I don't know informative and kind of give you an idea of what you can do with your desktop. Thank you for watching, and my name is Chris. Uh, bye.